Today, the earth moved in Washington. The tectonic plates that define modern American politics and modern American thinking about our economy and what works for us and what doesn't, those plates shifted. Up until today, what we've heard most from the Republican Party is that the cause of the big, giant financial mess we find ourselves in can be summed up in three words, Fanny and Freddie. John McCain has repeatedly railed against Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac on the campaign trail, trying to make it seem like something liberal-sounding could be blamed for the economic crisis. Which brings us back to that earthquake we felt today in Washington. It looked a little something like this. Alan Greenspan, who spent 18 and a half years as chairman of the Federal Reserve, the really quite conservative guy who Bill Clinton nevertheless held on to as Fed chairman, thus shifting the center of gravity in American economics sharply to the right, the guy who made it mainstream and centristy sounding to rail against financial regulations, there he was sitting before Congressman, before Congressman Henry Waxman's House Oversight Committee, admitting, quote, shocked disbelief that he was wrong. Do you feel that your ideology pushed you to make decisions that you wish you had not made? Yes. I found a flaw. I don't know how significant or permanent it is, but I've been very distressed by that fact. In other words, you found that your, your view of the world, your ideology, was not right. It was that, not that working. Is, it had a, it precisely. Greenspan, the high priest of deregulate everything so the free market can make it all right, did not blame Fannie and Freddie. He did not try to somehow blame Barack Obama. No, he admitted that his ideology, the free market, no regulation, conservative ideology, uh, was sort of wrong, or at least misguided, or at least had a big flaw. And then the truly extraordinary happened. Apparently unable to accept what he was hearing, Republican Congressman John Micah of Florida inexplicably tried to go back to blaming the whole thing on Obama. And he was roundly rebuffed by Greenspan, along with Republican appointees Christopher Cox and Jon Snow. Do you know who the largest recipient of campaign contributions is in 20 years from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, their political action organization? Do you know? I do not. Do you know? Do you I know? don't. No, I don't. Do you know who it was? Senator Obama in less than four years. They were not the cause of the financial crisis. And I'd be interested to know if any of the three witnesses believe that Freddie May and Fannie Mac was the cause of our financial crisis. Dr. Greenspan? I think it was a significant factor, but not the primary cause. And Mr. Cox? Uh, I would agree with that. Let me hear from Mr. Snow. Then I, I agree with on. that, they, that uh, there's no single cause of this. Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Henry Waxman. He is the chairman of the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform. Chairman Waxman, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. I'm pleased to be with you. I have to begin by asking you about the extraordinary hearing you had today with former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan. He admitted under your questioning that he had made a mistake in believing that the financial sector essentially would be able to self-regulate. Um, how significant is that uh, in American politics broadly, and how responsible do you think he is and his way of thinking is in, for the crisis that we find ourselves in now? Uh, we had uh, Chairman Greenspan along with uh, the head of the SEC and the Department, former Secretary of the Treasury, and what we wanted to hear from all three of these regulators is why nothing happened to prevent the economic mess that we're finding ourselves in. And the prevailing view was articulated by Alan Greenspan among others, that the markets work perfectly. Government shouldn't intervene. A government shouldn't regulate. And that failure to regulate predatory lending, even though Congress told the, the, the Federal Reserve to regulate this, meant uh, that the predatory lenders and others just went berserk with wild loans, and they never suffered the consequence of their bad loans. They just sold them off to others. It was like a hot potato. They passed it on to others. So when the whole house of cards fell, uh, somebody else got stuck. Well, you know who got stuck? The taxpayers of this country. We did see something else remarkable happen on the committee, which is that um, a Republican member of the committee essentially tried to make the case that Barack Obama was to blame for the financial crisis because he had taken donations from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Um, that ended up sort of resolving in a dramatic fashion when you asked your witnesses today uh, whether they believed that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were the cause of the crisis. Can you explain what happened there? Well, the, the Republicans wanted to politicize this whole hearing, the way they like to use 
everything for their political benefit. And so they wanted to make the argument that the problems that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were the real reason we have the economic situation we're in today. Now, it did play a, a contribution, a contributory role, and we are going to investigate them. But uh, they, they said, oh, no, they're not the Democratic chairman is not holding this hearing because he's trying to cover up the Democrats' connection with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Well, I, I, I pointed out this was not the central reason that we have the calamity that we're facing. And I went down the line with each of the, of the witnesses uh, to ask them whether they thought this was the principal issue at stake. And each one acknowledged that it maybe was a factor, but not the predominant factor. What's so annoying to me is we've got a, a serious problem to deal with. We need to understand what happened, how we got into this situation, so we can re, we can pass reforms to make sure that we correct these kinds of problems for the future. And the Republicans wanted to play politics with it. Congressman Henry Waxman, chairman of the House Oversight Committee, the man whose picture will be in the dictionary someday next to the word oversight. Uh, thank you so much for your time tonight, sir. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Bye-bye.